In the previous part, we looked at basic hemodynamic monitoring. In this section, we will look at some of the more advanced uh, hemodynamic monitoring modalities, including measurement of cardiac output. We will look at oxygen delivery and consumption and the balance between oxygen supply and demand and learn to understand and interpret the central venous oxygen saturation lactate and finally how to integrate our findings and also to choose appropriate monitors. Cardiac output should be monitored. We know that cardiac output is what carries oxygen to the tissues. The cardiac output is the amount of blood that is pumped out by the heart every minute and it is a major determinant of oxygen delivery to the tissues. So the amount of oxygen that is delivered to the tissues depends uh, largely on the cardiac output. It also depends on the saturation of uh, hemoglobin by oxygen and it depends. So the major determinant of oxygen delivery to the tissues is the cardiac output. Cardiac output which is the amount of blood pumped out by the heart every minute is responsible for oxygen carriage tissues. Like I said, the cardiac output is the major determinant of oxygen uh, delivery to the tissues. The other important parameters being the hemoglobin uh, level as well as the saturation of hemoglobin with oxygen. So the cardiac output, hemoglobin and oxygen saturation determine the amount of oxygen that reaches the tissues every minute which is the oxygen delivery or the DO2. Now many people do not have cardiac output monitors. But we have a tool which can be used by each and every intensivist and that is the hourly urine output. And when I say hourly urine output, I do not mean a 6 hour urine output divided by 6. I mean the urine output as measured every hour by a urometer or some such uh, system. So the urine output is therefore called the poor man's cardiac output. The hourly urine, uh, urine output reflects the renal perfusion and it goes hand in hand with the visceral function. It is therefore very cheap, simple and non-invasive method of assessing tissue perfusion and, car and organ perfusion and we generally say that if the urine output is more than 1 ml per kilo per hour, the cardiac output or tissue perfusion is adequate and if it is less than half ml per kilo per hour for a couple of hours, we believe that the perfusion is inadequate. So the urine output, hourly urine output is a very good tool which we should use, however, if the patient uh, is having diuretics or is on dopamine, then we lose the hourly urine output as an indicator of, uh, the, of the cardiac output. The common causes of renal perfusion as we are all aware is hypovolemia, a low cardiac output and even sepsis. So all patients must have an hourly urine output when they are in the ICU. The gold standard.